Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Edgewood channel. So today's topic is eclampsia in canines. So this is actually an obstetrical problem and this comes under the second unit of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics that is veterinary obstetrics. So eclampsia in canine bitches. Please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. So canine eclampsia. So this is the synonyms that is actually hypocalcemia. So eclampsia is a stage in which problem is occurring in case of the bitches. That is due to the problem with the calcium concentration. So it is also known as pure peral tetany. So definition is eclampsia is an acute life threatening disease seen most commonly in small to medium sized female dogs during early lactation and rarely in the late pregnancy period caused due to the depletion of serum calcium concentration in circulation. So this is actually a problem due to the decreased amount of serum calcium in the circulation. So it is very rarely seen in cats also. So the etiology can be many things that is poor nutrition, low blood levels of albumin, disease of parathyroid gland, excessive milk production so these four things can produce eclampsia or in a severe condition any one of these four can cause eclampsia so first of all we will be going to the poor nutrition factor that is ideal diet for a dog should have at least calcium is to phosphorus that is 1.2 is to 1 for normal metabolism and normal activity of blood calcium level things so how brewed diets uh, is common predisposing factor because the calcium phosphorus ratio is unbalanced or excessive feeding of meat that will lead to unbalanced calcium phosphorus ratio. So poor nutrition and also excess calcium supplementation during gestation is a big problem. So next is low blood levels of albumin that is dietary protein deficiency or excessive loss of albumin from the body because low levels of calcium. So whenever there is very less amount of calcium in the blood that will predispose to eclampsia. So next is excessive milk production. So whatever happens whenever the mother is producing enough milk, she will be producing much calcium into the milk and this will lead to decreased amount of calcium in the serum. So next is disease of parathyroid glands. So we all know that uh, in the calcium and phosphorus metabolism, uh, the parathyroid gland has got a very big role. So this fourth nutrient factor is very uh, rare and actually parathyroid gland balances the blood calcium level when impairment in its function leads to eclampsia. That is whenever there is excessive calcium feeding in the pre-gestation period that will lead to parathyroid gland problems and calcium deficiency in the serum. So moving to the pathophysiology, that is peak lactation period, that is one to three weeks after the delivery, there will be imbalance between the rates of inflow and outflow from the extracellular calcium pool. There will be normally inflow and outflow disturbance between the calcium. So excessive loss of membrane bound calcium results in increased permeability of nerve membrane to ions. So excessive loss of calcium membrane, calcium channel and calcium ions result in increased permeability of the nerves to the many ions that will lead to nervous signs. So the next bit of physiology is actually excessive calcium supplementation during gestation. So we are knowing about eclampsia and we are uh, moving to the parturition stage and what happens we are feeding excessive calcium in near the gestation period. So this exerts negative feedback mechanism on the parathyroid gland that controls the calcium metabolism which results in reduced calcium absorption because calcium is already a high amount we are getting or the animal is getting so what happens the reduced calcium absorption will be there and also reduced calcium mobilization from the bones will be there that also results in what hypocalcemia so the symptoms that is initially the dam will be restless and nervous then the dam walk with a stiff gait may even verbal or appears disoriented unable to walk and legs may become stiff or rigid that is actually due to the uh, calcium and nerve problems, muscle tremors will be there, eye twitching, panting, incoordination, facial pruritis, excessive salivation, irritability. Sometimes uh, there will be increased respiratory rate, higher body temperature and we will be susceptible uh, for, like we will be uh, having many differential diagnoses and all. And the note is if left untreated, 
So if we are knowing that this is the eclampsia case and we are not going for any treatment and all, the bitch may become uh, ataxic, trembling, muscle tetany, convulsive seizures. That is actually within 12 to 15 hours and even it can go to lateral recumbency and finally it will go to death. So diagnosis is actually based on the clinical history, clinical signs, uh, response to the calcium therapy, laboratory examinations and all. So moving to the laboratory examination, we have to go for blood calcium level examination. Normally, uh, it is actually 9 to 13 and whenever it is less than 7 mg per deciliter, we can confirm it's an eclampsia and we can, should go for a phosphorus calcium ratio and we should go for uh, blood glucose levels and all. So treatment is actually we have to go for calcium gluconate and we have to go for cold bath to reduce the body temperature. Dietary supplements of calcium and vitamin D will be there. Intravenous injection of dextrose for quick supplementation of energy and if at all the animal is showing uh, seizures or mild seizures, uh, just go for sedative or phenobarbitones that can be administered so that the nervous signs will be reduced. So calcium, whenever we are going to administer calcium, we should always uh, be in a slow administration because fast administration will lead to cardiac arrest and ventricular fibrillation. So be aware of these things. So preventive measures is actually provide balanced diet with proper calcium, phosphorus ratio during the gestation period. And supplement the puppies with a milk replacer as soon as possible to decrease the milk demands on the bitch. And the pups from the susceptible bitches should be removed from the bitch from 24 hours and fed on milk substitute or milk replacers. So there are many re milk replacers for the canines. So you can see this is Lactol from BFR and Petlac from Petagy, Royal Canine and puppy milk replacers, Absolute milk from Drools. So thank you.